The violent war in Ukraine also hitting home. Local students and professors with families trapped in the war-torn country are speaking out. Terror and confusion is how one Ukrainian student and professor at Cornell University felt when Russia began invading their country. Our 18 News reporter Sarah Wilson has their stories. Ivan Kasuk was thousands of miles from home when he heard what was happening. It was very scary on the very first hour. Russia launching a full-scale invasion of Ukraine. Kasuk's family in the capital of Kyiv at home sleeping. Kasuk, on the other hand, a graduate student at Cornell University, was terrified of what was happening half a world away. I have this, like, deep inside some kind of guilt that, oh, like, there is, like, what can I do? Like, how can I help? It was a similar situation for Olina Vadimaniuk, who was born in Lviv, but has lived in the U.S. for 25 years. She teaches at Cornell University, far away from her family, who still resides in Ukraine's western city. She received word of Russia's invasion the night of February 23rd, when the news broke in the U.S. This was horrible. Even, you know, you know, I have goosebumps even thinking and remembering those moments. I mean, we, and we didn't sleep the entire night. We cannot eat, we cannot sleep. Now as Russia enters its fourth week of its invasion, Kasuk and Vadimaniuk are worried. They say they know their country is strong, but they're terrified of what might happen next, especially since their families haven't fled. The only thing I'm afraid is that uh, if we do not help fast enough, uh, more innocent people will, will get hurt. They, along with the Ukrainian government, are asking the U.S. for more help. We all aim peace. Uh, that's the goal. Peace and the chance to hopefully return to the home they love. I do not think we will lose this war. Uh, a lot of people will get hurt. A lot of people will die. And so the sooner it ends, the better. For 18 News, I'm Sarah Wilson.